Hello, and welcome to Okmulgee Mounds National Historical Park. Today we're going to be making pottery the same way that the Native Americans would have made it. Now, the pottery that we have here today is actually available through our gift store. Now, what you're going to do first is you're going to grab a ball of clay. And you're going to knead it so it's into a nice ball. And then you're going to place it onto a piece of paper and you're going to try to make it a flat pancake, just like you see here. Now that's step one. Now what we're gonna do, since we already have our little pancake, we're gonna set that to the side, and we are going to make a couple of snakes. Uh, we're just gonna make a couple tubes that look like this, uh, and that's gonna be the walls of our pieces of pottery. As you can see, I am just rolling it in my hands and also on this uh, piece of paper right here to make it a long snake. flatten it out a little bit if you need but we are just going to put that right on top of our pancake and as you can see it already starts to look like a little bit of a bowl and I already do have a couple pieces pre-made as well that we are just going to stack right on top just like so you can pinch it to make it a little longer if it needs to fit all the way around the top. Usually you can only make about three of them and it makes a decent sized bowl, but today I'm gonna to be uh, using four of these snakes. And now you can see that it does look like a bowl, <laughs> but there are all of these ridges. Now to get rid of those ridges, we are just going to rub our finger down the side and smooth that out. I'm gonna do that around the entire outside of the bowl first, but then after we're done doing that, we are going to do the inside as well. Making it nice and smooth because we want it to be nice and smooth so you can actually see those stamps that we're gonna be putting on the outside of it. Now, once we have the outside done, like I said, we are gonna be smoothing out the inside just a bit. Uh, it's gonna be the same technique. You're just rubbing it down, getting those ridges out. And you're also trying to make it still maintain that circular shape, but it's your bowl. You can do it however you'd like. Whatever shape you'd like, it can be a square, it can be anything. Now, as you can see, some or there's a little bit left of those ridges, but I'm just gonna continue rubbing those out. It looks like the walls of a bowl, just like that. Now that we have our walls and we have our base and it is all flat, we are going to begin the stamping process. Now the stamping that we do here at Okmulgee Mounds is similar to what the Native Americans would have used. They would carve into pieces of wood, uh, different designs like you see here, and they would place their hand on the inside of the pot and they would just press firmly the stamp of that wood. As you can see, it does show up pretty well. Now at home, you may not have the same kind of stamps that we have here, but you do have some things that you can use. A pencil would work. You can actually etch in your own kind of designs with a pencil, uh, or if you want to get creative and find something else around the house you can stamp with, you're more than welcome to do that as well. Now, uh, I'm gonna use several different stamps here just to make it look uh, a little fancy. But after we're done stamping that pottery, it's about done. The only thing we have left is to let this air dry. Now the thing about this clay is you do not wanna put it into the oven. If you put it in the oven, it'll explode or something. Uh, and we don't want that to happen to your ovens at home. Uh, if you do have access to a professional kiln, you're more than welcome to use that because it does need to be over 1000 degrees. Uh, like I said, it's perfectly fine if you air dry this though, just sit it out on your porch, uh, it'd be perfect. We do recommend that you do not try to eat out of these bowls uh, because if you put your cereal in it, uh, it will turn right back into mud and that does not sound appetizing at all. <laughs> uh, but once it is air dry, you are also more than welcome to paint it 
Uh, it works well with just different types of uh, pottery paint. Uh, and just let that air dry as well. It makes the perfect kind of uh, bowl that you can sit pencils in, you can sit anything you want to in it. Uh, once again, just please do not try to eat out of it. Uh, but that is Bowl Making 101 here at Okmulgee Mounds. And like I said, this is the same way that the Native Americans would have done it back in the day. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below.